Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy to be connecting with you today. It's a Thursday, and I think it's the 11th of January. You know, this whole year has been flying by, already 11 days into it, right? So welcome and thank you for joining today. Uh, I was not able to show yesterday, had some technical difficulties. But today we're going to be focusing on soul tapping. Soul tapping for relieving stress. Stress is very predominant. Almost everybody in this world has some variable or aspect of stress. So to be able to uh, have a, a solution basically that can be applied almost anywhere we are at in the world is truly a wonderful, wonderful solution. <coughs> Soul lucian. And so we'll talk about that today. I apologize for not not being here yesterday. Um, I was right up to the moment and then about 10 minutes before my uh, live stream I was asked to assist one of Master Shah's centers with some technical difficulties because they were getting ready to do a, a live event. And um, so the saving of one live event meant the, the releasing of another but that's okay. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be here with each and every one of you. Um, if you missed the earlier live streams this week, uh, Monday, it was an excellent one, and I encourage you to go back to watch it. And you can do that on my, on my actual live stream page. You just go back to uh, scroll back, you know, a couple days worth. And it was on um, chanting and forgiveness and tracing to bring financial flourishing into our life. And uh, that was an excellent one. I shared with all those that were watching a story uh, about a uh, gentleman who who did exactly what we did on the Monday live stream for about 30 or so days and uh, had a major shift in his life around finances. So give me a moment to uh, tone down my dings on my phone. <coughs> so today uh, we'll be going ahead and doing what I was going to do yesterday, which is Working with some of the wisdom from Master Shah. Now, the book I'm going to be working from is called Soul Wisdom. And uh, I'm going to be in Chapter 15, What is Soul Tapping? And why is it different than any other form of tapping? We already know that tapping works, if you're familiar with it at all. Emotional freedom techniques. There's a variety of tapping techniques that do work. Soul tapping, on the other hand, is different and um, accomplishes many of the same things without uh, specific patterns required. So we'll go into those explanations a little bit later as we move forward. Let's see who's joined us so far here today. Uh, welcome Kathy Arnold, aloha. Aloha and welcome Melissa Reiki. Uh, welcome also to Jennifer. Welcome to Larissa and aloha Vanessa. <coughs> welcome to Ilona. And aloha Sharon Dodd. Aloha, welcome to Donna Hugginson, and welcome also to Stein. Aloha Vanessa and Pat. Good to see you here, Pat. And welcome also to uh, Janice Crosby and Crane. Welcome Jim. Welcome also M.A. Drade. <coughs> and welcome Janet Blair. Aloha Princess Lee, coming in from the Philippines. And um, welcome Atena. Welcome also to Paul Black. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button. We'll uh, let Facebook go out and grab a few more people. <coughs> let me position myself here. I do want to mention if there are any of those that are watching and now or in a recording that are already Divine Healing Hands healers. There is, uh, and you live in Hawaii, there is an opportunity to, to have an upgrade to Dao Hands. So if you do live in Hawaii and you're a Divine Healing Hands healer, make sure you contact the local Hawaii Center as there is opportunity to upgrade it to a Dao Hands. <coughs> Welcome also to Shelly. So we're going to go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul while we're waiting for uh, Facebook to go out and, and gather more souls. We're going to place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. I'm going to drop our left hand in front of our heart center. The right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. This connects heaven through our hand into our heart center. It's called a hand mudra position. So close your eyes and I'll invite in the beings of light. 
Hall. There are beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. They're all angels, healing angels, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, all Buddhas and bodhisattvas, dear beloved mother, Mary, beloved Jesus, beloved <coughs> Namo Amitofu and Kuan Yin, happy Buddha, medicine Buddha, money Buddha, Ganesha, Krishna, all of our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you all, honor you all, respect you, ask you to please be present at this time. And we thank you from our heart for all that you do for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We invite all souls in all universes to join us at this time as we chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. And we ask all souls in all universes to turn on their download and transmission for this source soul song and to chat with us so for those that are new just tuning in this is a mantra and this is also a healing instrument you can make a request and um, you can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org so if you know the song please join in let us serve Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. <coughs> oh, I was in her ling. Oh, I tried red lay. Wrong ling, wrong her musher shung. Shung I ping on a se. Shung I ping on a se. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. I'm going to sing one more time. Close your eyes, receive the blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Divine Tao Source. Thank you, the Source Soul Song, Love, Peace, Harmony. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know about today. And welcome also to um, Maria Metzler. Meltzer, Meltzer. Welcome, Monica. Welcome also to Jitendra. And aloha and welcome, Kristen Strachan. Welcome, Rianne. And aloha, Heather. And also welcome, Maria Crispy. If I missed your name, forgive me. Welcome to you as well. And so today we're going to be focusing on <clears throat> de-stressing with a soul technique. And 
I was about to say a soul healing technique, but we're supposed to avoid saying that second word. So we'll say a, a technique that brings great health and wellness to you. Um, most of you are veterans. You're familiar with the word soul and the nature of soul. Most of you have stress. Uh, what oftentimes we fail to comprehend, to comprehend is that one can uh, positively affect the other. So we know, for example, that we have a soul, but very few of us actually connect to our soul on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, let alone a, a once-a-year basis. We basically we, we acknowledge we have a soul, but hey, since I can't talk to it and I can't see it, uh, well, it's just a, it's a cute word that maybe... Uh, Maybe it means something, maybe it doesn't, but since I have no way to connect to it, how do I really know? <clears throat> and so we don't really know what to do with the word soul. And so when we use the word soul tapping for releasing stress, it requires a little bit of foundation so that you can understand the value of it and how it will work and why it will work. And welcome also to Lotzia and welcome Master Christine. Welcome Vanessa. And so, uh, again, with Master Shah's teaching, everyone and everything has a soul. Every soul is, has a purpose, and that purpose is to serve. So, when we walk on the beach, it is the largest example of Bao Yuan Shou Yi that I can think of in this moment. Because all of the little pieces of sand gather together to hold us up so that we can walk on the beach without falling through the sand. And so Bao Yuan Shou Yi means gather together as one and hold in a circle. Uh, Bao Yuan Shou Yi means many things, but basically it means coming together as one. Oneness philosophy. So everything has a way to serve. Everything is serving us, including something like the sand. Our chair is serving us. It's holding us up. It's keeping our back straight and in a posture where we're not uncomfortable. So the, the chair is serving us. Everything it was created by Creator, therefore everything has a soul, therefore everything uh, is offering some form of service. And even the negative things offer a form of service because they give us opportunities to learn, they give us opportunities to not make those choices more than once so that we don't get harmed. So there's a variety of, of ways of looking at it. So I'm not going to go deep into all the things about soul. I just wanted to give you a little snippet of that. Now, since we have a soul, our soul can help us tremendously. Our soul has incredible knowledge. It understands exactly where the source is of our blockages. So, for example, uh, prior to Master Shah becoming a divine channel vehicle and servant in 2001, I think it was 2001, maybe 2003, uh, I should know this date, but um, prior to him becoming, uh, he was a world-renowned, uh, Qigong master, one who in the world, uh, Fifth World Congress in 2002 became uh, uh, Qigong master of the year. And so that meant that he understood energies and he understood how to work with energy to create uh, healing in people's lives. Accordingly, <coughs> um, but prior to him understanding the things about soul that we are explaining today, his spiritual channels were open, his third eye was open. And somebody would come to him that had excruciating slip disc back pain uh, that just, you know, hard for them to move from the waiting room to his, to his, where he, where he's at, right? And so he uh, would check with his spiritual channels, look with his third eye at the soul level, and he could see where the blockage was. And in many cases, it was behind the back of the knee. Slip disc, but the block was just behind the back of the knee. Why am I telling you this? Well, he would put a needle in there, slip disc would go away, person would walk away, fixed. So the soul knows where our blockages are. Soul has intelligence. We might have a headache, but the source could be something happening with our feet. We might have stress, but the stress has blockages somewhere in our energy meridian and or vessels and or uh, bodily organs and systems. And so when we do soul tapping, we are allowing the soul to service. We are allowing the soul to um, align to its innate intelligence and we kind of get out of the way. Most of the people are familiar with EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Uh, there's other versions of tapping that are out there. All have variations of effectiveness. Some miraculously effective, some a little bit effective. Um, 
But nevertheless, there are layers of effect in this, which in and of itself is amazing if all you're doing is tapping. <clears throat> the, the variances are that they focus on a specific way of tapping and a specific way of bringing up the subject matter that they're trying to, quote, tap away. Soul tapping operates on a different philosophy and understanding. It operates on the understanding that soul is the boss, soul is in charge, and that if we work with things at the level of soul, we can have a far greater uh, result, uh, getting to the core of the issue much, much faster. And so, what does that look like? Well, let's go ahead and see what Master Shah has to say about it. I'm going to go ahead and read from the book called Soul Wisdom, and this is... Uh, one of Master Shah's earlier books, he has currently 21 books, 11 of which have reached New York Times bestsellers. Not an easy feat to accomplish. So do, if you're unfamiliar with Master Shah, do some homework and learn a little bit more. This was printed June 2008 is when this printing came out. This is a soft cover, so it's possible it came out before that. Let me see if there's any earlier. Yeah, copyright 2007. So... So in order to go to a softback, you have to sell over a million copies. Uh, and in 2007, not an easy feat. Okay, so I'm going to read from um, chapter 15. What is soul tapping? And welcome Angie Taylor, welcome Don Robinson. And welcome Charlotte Duran. And welcome Ali Fess. Welcome Missy Dodd. <coughs> uh, and if anybody, I missed you, forgive me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button letting other people know about today's uh, teaching. So, page 220 is what I'm on. If you have the book and you want to follow along. Everyone knows how to tap. You can tap your fingers. You can tap your feet. With your fingers, you can tap your desk. You can tap your leg. You can tap your heart. When you feel pain or stiffness in some parts of your body, you spontaneously do a little tapping there. It will help release a bit of the pain but you probably don't realize the potential power of tapping. You probably don't know that tapping is a huge advanced soul healing treasure for self-healing and for healing others. Soul tapping can transform blockages. It can prevent illness, it can rejuvenate, and it can prolong life. Soul tapping can transform just about any aspect of your life. So. Think about it. When I watched an EFT video a year or two ago, the person was able to let go of a long-held fear around uh, swimming in water. Okay, just anything about water, right? They were just petrified. You get him 100 yards, 100 feet from a pool, about 100 feet, and he would actually have his elevation of fear increase. That's how fearful he was of water. And tapping, EFT, helped him to remove that. Is that a physical Thing. Most people tap for their pain, right? No, it was, any, it was a mental emotional block. So soul tapping can be used for anything. Do you have financial blockages? Probably. Do you have relationship blockages? Are they affecting your stress levels? Okay. Today is focusing on stress. However, you can use this for just about anything. Welcome Arlene. Ordinary tapping is guided by your mind. Okay, I sense some pain on my shoulder. Let me tap there a little bit. Soul tapping is soul-guided tapping. If you have knee pain and you do soul tapping, your fingers may not go to your knee. Why? Because soul tapping, your fingers will do go to the area the root uh, energy blockage is located. In the case of your knee pain, yes, pain in the knee indicates an energy blockage there, but the root blockage or source blockage could be in your abdomen. Interesting, huh? Could be in your stomach, in your abdominal area where the uh, knee pain is actually blocked. But because soul tapping is soul guided, your fingers may not go to your knee. They will go to the exact area of the root blockage, which may be in your abdomen. This may feel or seem strange at first, um, but this is how it works. This is a unique characteristic of soul tapping. To summarize, the secret of soul tapping is that your soul guides and directs the tapping of the area to the root energy blockage in order to remove the blockage. If the root blockage is removed, you will recover 5 to 10 times, even 20 times faster than if you had tapped the painful area directly. 
Now, isn't that interesting? We have pain in the shoulder, but if we allow our soul to guide us to where to tap, it could remove the suffering 5, 10, even 20 times faster than just tapping the sore area specifically. So it goes to show you the, the way the body works. It's very interrelated. And heal the soul first and the mind and body follows is a one sentence secret that Master Shah brings to us. Some of you have heard that, most of you have heard that, some of you have not. And so the application of that is let the soul tap at the area where the soul blockage is and where the body is showing up pain, it will naturally transform. Okay? So expanding this wisdom, soul tapping can be used for all kinds of sickness, including not only pain, but inflammation, cysts, even tumors. Tumors and cysts are inside the body. They're not outside. So tapping can affect that. Yes, tapping can positively affect that. <clears throat> it can affect things like emotional imbalances, including depression, anxiety, anger, sadness, fear, and worry. It can be used for mental conditions, from lack of clarity and concentration to confusion and serious mental disorders. Finally, it can be used for some spiritual blockages as well. What are examples of spiritual blockages? That would be um, heart-related blockages, okay? Uh, blockages of uh, selfishness versus selflessness. Uh, spiritual blockages related to not trusting the divine. Uh, things of that nature, okay? So you can actually release some of those blockages as well. So tapping can definitely do some significant effect. So let's do soul tapping. Uh, for releasing a stress in our life. Aloha Agot. <clears throat> so first we define what is soul tapping. Soul tapping is allowing the soul to tap. We have a right hand and a left hand that we can do tapping with. Generally speaking, uh, the front hand is related to the front part of the body. The back of the hand is related to the back half of the body. Okay, And so you could just use one hand to tap the other hand and it's literally impacting the entire body. You could also tap the ears, which every, everyone that has done any degree of energy medicine research knows that the ears, the feet, and the hands all have end points where the acupuncture meridians uh, end at. So, you, so certain areas of the ears impact your knees, your heart, your back, and et cetera, et cetera. Same thing with the feet. Same thing with the hands. You could, of course, tap your body if that's where your soul takes you to. You simply follow the soul guidance. Okay. So when we employ this, we always employ the four powers. What is soul power? What is mind power? What is sound power? What is body power? Body power is where our hands are tapping. Where our hands tap is where the energy goes. Soul power is connecting to the inner souls and the outer souls, and we'll do that in a minute. Mind power is creative visualization. So uh, if we were using our mind power, we could, wherever we're tapping at, see light coming in, right where our finger taps, light, 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 light. And it's going zzz, 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 clearing blockages, wherever our finger is tapping, okay? And then for uh, sound power, we can chant, give me a moment. Divine tapping releases my stress. Divine tapping releases my stress. Very simple verbiage, but it's acknowledging that the soul is doing the work. Okay? And so, first we connect to the soul. So let's place our hands together in soul light, soul service, hand position. The hand mudra position that I taught you earlier. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand still remains pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes and let us connect. Since we're working with releasing stress, I'd like you to choose one specific area of your life that's causing you the vast amount of stress. Maybe it's spiritual stress. Maybe it's emotional stress. It could be a, a form of uh, stress related to the inability to do what you want to do. Stress related to um, the inability to work with the children driving you crazy. Stress related to finances. Choose a very specific area of stress and then we will connect to that, okay? So I'll walk you through the simple steps. Again, if you do this on your own, you, you don't have to do it exact. Do not square your head. Follow the general pattern, okay? Connecting to the outer souls, connecting to the inner souls, and then do a simple forgiveness. So don't square your head about being exact, okay? 
Okay, so just follow my lead. Dear my beloved divine, dear my own soul, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Dear the soul of all of the souls that make up my body, the souls of my organs and systems, the souls of my cells and cell units, they're the souls of my acupuncture meridians and all of my energy points. They're the souls of all of the energy and matter that makes up my body. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to release the blockages causing the stress related to and then state what your stress is. Do a great job because you're talking to everything inside you, all the souls inside you, you can give them an order. Do a great job. When you talk to the souls outside of you, like what we're going to do next, you, you ask them to serve with great gratitude. So continue to repeat. Dear my beloved divine, all layers of divine Tao and source, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. All the beings of light that have been invited here today, I love you all, honor you all, appreciate you all so very much. Could you please assist in whatever way is most appropriate to help me clear the blockages with the stress associated with, and then state your request again. Okay. So what have we done? We've connected to the inner souls of our body. We've connected to the outer souls. Now we connect with the souls of our hand and ask it to tap, uh, and our own soul, and ask it to tap. So continue. Dear my own soul, the soul of my hand, choose right hand or left hand. Soul of my right hand, you might say left hand, whatever's comfortable for you. I love you. Can you please tap my body wherever is needed? to release the blockages associated with stress for the condition, and then you state the condition one more time. I am extremely grateful. And finally, we do a very simple forgiveness. Dear all souls in all time, if I or my ancestors have caused you stress by wrong thoughts, words, or actions, especially if you have experienced any stress related to the same condition I am experiencing stress around, I sincerely apologize for causing any form of emotional mental stress upon you. Please forgive me. Thank you. So now, Allow your soul to tap. It may tap your other hand. It may tap any part of your body, your forehead, whatever. Just allow it to tap. And chant with me. Repeat the words, divine tapping releases the stress blockages. Divine tapping releases my 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 stress blockages. Divine tapping. Keep your eyes closed. Let your soul do the tapping. Once in a while, pay attention. Where is it tapping? Divine tapping releases my stress blockages. 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 Divine 
tapping releases my stress blockages. Divine tapping releases my stress blockages. Now silently continue to repeat. Continue to repeat. Notice where your hands go. Visualize light coming out of your fingers, tapping that area. Wherever your fingers are tapping, light going into that area. Silently, divine tapping releases my stress blockages. 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 Continue to tap. See the light wherever you're tapping. Divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping. Divine tapping. And now I want you to send tapping blessings to someone you care about, someone you love. So repeat after me Dear the soul of my right hand, if you chose your left hand, say left hand. I love you. Can you please offer a tapping blessing to, and then you state the person you want to offer a blessing to. Help them release their stress and improve their health as appropriate. Because we never push. And now we tap their soul. So you just tap the air in front of you. You're tapping their soul because you stated their name. Their soul has come. I'm tapping the soul of the person I called forth. Help them release their stress. Help them to become happier and healthier. Divine tapping. Divine tapping. Divine tapping. Divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping. Divine tapping, divine tapping. If someone you know has a specific condition, maybe they have significant depression, maybe they have significant health issues, you can say, Dear my soul, could you please do soul tapping for this person and state their name for the condition state the condition and then say as appropriate and then your soul will send its love and start tapping that soul's area of its body as appropriate to help it release blockages divine tapping Divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, 
Divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping. And so what else would you like to do for yourself? Do you have a specific thing that maybe is not stress, but it's definitely something you want to release? Continue. Dear my soul, I love you. Can you please guide my hand to tap myself to release the blockages for an instate a very specific thing that may not be stress related that you would like to receive blessings for. Divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping. Divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping, divine tapping. Notice where your hands are at. If you requested something that is causing you measurable pain, what is that pain level? And then we'll check it when we're done. I asked to open my heart and my hand started tapping my head. So let your soul guide you wherever your hands want to go. Divine tapping, divine soul tapping, divine soul tapping, divine soul tapping. Divine soul tapping, divine soul tapping, divine soul tapping, divine soul tapping. Just a little bit longer, continue to chant silently, continue to watch where does your hands go to release your blockages. Divine soul tapping, 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 divine soul tapping. Divine soul tapping, divine soul tapping. <clears throat> and now stop tapping and just feel your body. Notice where any tingling sensations might be. Notice if you had a measurable pain, if it's shifted. Notice the quietness. Check in with your level of stress around what your request was. Has it been reduced? And then report. Please share. What was your experience with this soul tapping? What did you notice about where your hands went? Uh, is your, has your suffering measurably shifted? And if so, what was it before and what was it now? I got exceedingly hot during this practice, just sweating. I was like, man, I need to turn on a fan. And it was cool in the room that I was in before I started. Now I'm just, just toasty. Because the soul was releasing all kinds of chi creating chi movement in the body. Remember, heal the soul first and the mind and body follows. <clears throat> when the soul tapping was occurring, it was releasing energetic blockages. In Master Shah's wisdom and teaching, the chi flows in between the matter. 
and the matter and chi, when they work in relative balance, were very healthy. That includes emotional health, mental health, all forms of health. When we have blockages in the energy and matter, when the <coughs> energy and matter are not in relative balance, <coughs> meaning they do not convert from energy to matter and back in a, in a beautiful and relaxed way, then the matter tends to coagulate and create blockages, pain, inflammation, tumor, etc. So as we're tapping, what are we doing? We're awakening the chi in the area. We're clearing the blockages at the soul level and following the soul, the energy and matter follows and it starts readjusting the energy and matter. So for me, it felt like just a huge amount of sweating because uh, the chi was moving. <clears throat> and so a goat says, so calm, uh, pain is gone from the eyes. Beautiful, thank you. Uh, Kathy also says, very hot and fingers tingling. Uh, Sharon said she felt sickly, but it turned to a calm warmth. Thank you. Thank you, Heaven. Thank you, Master Shah, for the soul wisdom. Thank you, Master Guo, Master Shah's teacher, for bringing the soul wisdom. Um, and then a goat also said she her feet were sweating. Interesting. Uh, Criselda said it felt good. Vanessa says she felt the power in her right hand tapping mostly in her head and her heart area, and then pain shifted to her solar plexus. Uh, Master Christine says, thank you for sharing the beautiful soul tapping practice. Master Shah has shared and given us so many tools to really help and heal. So Master Christine hails from Australia. She's a very powerful master in Australia. Make sure you tune into her live streams also. Thank you, Master Christine. Uh, and to hear, he felt good. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. And Shana Sug. Welcome, Shauna. Larissa, lots of vibration in the hands and various areas of the body, experiencing initial increase and anxiety. <clears throat> and then it became peaceful and tears flowed. Interesting. So a little increase in, in, a, in an anxiety condition, and then it just pff, dissipated. And I don't know that she even noticed that anxiety was there uh, prior to that. But in other words, an energetic blockage came up. It had that kind of a sensation that, that she was able to verbalize, and then it dissipated. Beautiful. Uh, and very relaxed. And then um, Kathy says lots of saliva. And that's a very, very good sign. That when saliva is moving, that means you're receiving heaven's nectar and earth's nectar. So whenever you build up saliva in your mouth, swallow it consciously down into your lower abdomen. It's like refilling your life oil lamp. Um, when Crystal started, she says she was uh, she felt extremely calm. Her stress levels before were a 6 to 7 out of a 10. Now it's about a 4. So about a 25 to 30 percent drop. Excellent. We tapped her about 10 minutes. Um, Vanessa Thompson felt tapping on her third eye. Very calm. Oh, huh, beautiful. And Kristen Strachan, she knows this practice and knows that it works. Her karma makes her forget to use it. <laughs> uh, felt very good, very relaxing. And Shauna says she can feel the energy moving. So lots of, of, of positive comments. Here's the thing that, I, that I'd like you to remember from the wisdom that Master Shah brings to us. You know, sometimes we're in an airport or sometimes we're in a place uh, waiting for the kids to get out of school or we're in a, in a, in a traffic jam. Okay? We're in places where the, it naturally increases our stress. Uh, maybe we're at the hospital with family. Um, but we find ourselves in stressful environments. Maybe you're in a school environment, right? Uh, exams or something like that. Tapping is a very simple, uh, personal thing that you can do that no one's going to say anything or look. You just start tapping, you know? You just connect first. Remember, connect to your inner soul, connect to the outer souls, ask them to assist as appropriate, and ask your soul to guide your hand, and then make your request and just start tapping. You could find yourself going from an irritated place on the traffic jam to a very relaxed place. You could find yourself uh, at the hospital with your loved ones coming to a place of calm and a sense of knowingness that everything is going to work out. On top of that, you can use this to serve others. A lot of us think that we're helpless in serving others. You have no idea the power of your soul. It is, is you miraculous your soul it can create miracles dear my soul please uh, offer tapping as appropriate as appropriate what did I say as appropriate for 
my friend, my husband, my wife, my father, whatever, okay, for this condition. Thank you. And you turn on, you just ask it to serve. You can invite the other souls also. Invite Jesus and Mother Mary and Buddha and God. Invite them all. Ask them to serve that other soul. Many of them will come. Many of them will serve. And you just tap. What do you visualize? Visualize their soul standing in front of you. And you're just tapping, tapping, tapping. Okay? Have no attachment. You're asking it as appropriate. But your soul carries extraordinary power. It can absolutely make a difference. Especially if you do it a couple of times uh, and on a consistent basis. So we're not helpless by any stretch of the imagination. We can absolutely help ourselves. And it's called soul power for a reason. Because we have soul. We have power. We are just awakening to that truth. We're remembering that truth. So, um, Tahir says, Master Paul, can I do it more with the video even if it isn't live? Yes, you can, Tahir. You may do it as often as you'd like. Uh, I had another student today ask me, can I use one of your recordings? Uh, and I uh, walked them through a practice. He says, can I use that to, to help others of his friends that they want to gather and help them? Yes, absolutely. Uh, because it's not, you know, I'm just a messenger. I'm just sharing the wisdom and teachings from Master Shah in a way that is palpable and actionable in our real world with our real problems. So if it assists you to... Um, to to help your world by all means use it as much as you'd like um, you're very grateful Kathy welcome Phyllis welcome Don uh, I see they're just showing you just coming in so maybe you got to see the entire tapping uh, teaching prior to this but if not please go back uh, it could serve you well and um, yeah so we can do this you can also serve your pets your children with soul tapping Especially the pets and the children, we feel so helpless. We don't know what to do about their, their aching teeth or, or, or whatever it might be. The pets, you know, they just don't feel good for some reason. Soul tapping, it works. Okay? So um, I want to thank all of you for coming today. We have a weekend coming up. Enjoy your weekend. Do as much as you can to stay attuned to your soul, even if it's just sitting outside, smelling the air you know, watching the, the grass wave, whatever it might be, where you're present and not being so much up in your mind. Because every time you take a moment to be present, you are receiving the, the nectar from heaven and Mother Earth. That's when we're lost in our mind and when our heart is closed, that it's very hard for heaven to give us their love, their nectar, their, their uh, life-fulfilling energies. Okay? So thank you for the opportunity to serve you. I love you. I will see you soon next week. Bye-bye, everybody.